It's Jack and welcome back to another video. Quickly before I jump into this video, my next video is going to be a Q&A kind of video with my girlfriend Sophia. Basically all I need you to do is ask me questions either on Instagram or any social media, even in the comments down below, about tips for dating a trans guy. So Sophia is going to talk about dating me and so if you have any, so basically just ask Sophia questions in the comments down below and we'll be answering a bunch tomorrow. So let's get on to the video. So lately I've been wondering what the support, like air support name should be. Like I've had it as Warriors Beans, but I'm kind of feeling Jackhammers, which was, you know, it was suggested by one of my supporters, Jaden, and I really like it. So how do you feel about being called the Jackhammer Squad? It's more original, it kind of has my name in it, and I think it's kind of more cool, like the Jackhammers. That's, that's pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are, we were on the road to 16K before summer, but I'm already at 17.4, thanks to freaking Ash. But if you're new, make sure to subscribe and hopefully we can hit 25K by the end of the year because that's my goal that I set in like January. So in my last video, I suggested making a video about me talking about my road to testosterone. So if you did not know, I'm an FTM guy, which means I was born female and I'm transitioning to male. Getting on tea in Ireland is a very difficult thing to do and I thought maybe I could help other people out by telling them what I'm doing right now so maybe they could do the same themselves if they're living in Ireland or if they just don't know what to do. So far, I am pre-testosterone, which means I have not started it yet, but I have gone to two appointments and I've been to my GP appointment and stuff. So I'm going to talk about that in today's video and hopefully it's a bit of help for you guys. Disclaimer, this is only going to be from my personal opinion. I don't know how it works for anybody else, but this is just my own personal experience of how I've been on the road to start testosterone. So I'm not saying this is the way to go. This is just my way of going. So the first thing I did was I talked to my mom about the situation. I explained how I felt what I wanted from it, where I wanted to go, yada yada yada. And then the first thing we did was we went to our GP, which is the first thing you're recommended to do. So after I went to my GP, I was then, I had to talk to him and then I was referred to a counseling um, kind of group service thingy. So at first it was a totally different um, service than to what I actually go to now, but I have been referred to CAMS, which is Children and Adolescent Mental Health Service. So basically I was referred to a counselor, which I wasn't very happy about, but I was on the waiting list for a year. As I said before, Irish health services are terrible. <laughs> so after I got my first appointment after waiting a year, she sat me down for a good like half hour. We talked, we did our thing, we ranted on and on and on and on. And then I asked her, where was I going? How was I gonna get there? And what exactly I could expect from this service? So basically I am going here. She's gonna have, I think I'm gonna have like two more sessions with her. And then I'm, I've already been referred to Tavistock. So Tavistock is another service I have to go through, but they're in England. So I will most likely be flying over to London every three months with my mom if I get referred there. So I'll be getting like um, some type of scheme which will pay for that. But basically, even though I live in Ireland, I'm gonna have to go to England to get my treatment. So basically over here, my psychiatrist, she's going to, in her opinion, diagnose me with dysphoria, but then she needs a second opinion to get me actually officially diagnosed with gender dysphoria, which means I can then start the road to hormone blockers or testosterone. So if you're in Ireland and you're under 18, this is most likely the route you're gonna have to go down. Unless you're 17 and then you get referred to Lachlanstown. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It used to be if you were six, why is there a fly in my room? It needs to go. It used to be anybody who was 16 and over that got referred to Lachlanstown, but it then changed like a year or two ago, which is typical because it only came out a year or two ago. It then changed to you have to be over 17 to go to Lachlanstown now. So. Basically, I'm being refer I've been referred to Tavistock, so now I'm on the waiting list for Tavistock. So I'm getting somewhere, but basically nowhere at the same time. So I have my next appointment next month with her um, at the end of June, and then I will be more updated on my referral towards Tavistock as to whether I'm on the waiting list or how far I am on the waiting list and or how long it's gonna take. So for right now, that's all the information I have. I really hope it was helpful in some type of way. I'm no Alex Bertie, but I can try. <laughs> So basically for me, my steps so far have been step one, my GP, step two, waiting list, step three, I went to the, psych like the psychiatrist, and step four, my referral to Tavistock. So hopefully there's not many more steps, but I know I have to wait to see about my referral for Tavistock, and then I have to see how long I'll be on the waiting list for Tavistock. But hopefully I'm on T soon. And hopefully this was helpful for other people that are in Ireland trying to get on T who are under 18. So yeah, we're finito. So that's it for this video guys, if it was helpful in any type of way, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, it's really, really appreciated. 
Also, like I said, if you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We're gonna try hit 25k by the end of the year, and if we could hit that, that would be absolutely amazeballs. Like, oh my god. So if you made it this far into the video, make sure to comment down below, hashtag JackHammerSquad, and I will be replying to a bunch of people who comment that. And as usual, I love you all so much, and I hope you had a transtastic day, or a cis-tastic day, or a you-tastic day. And I'll see all you beautiful people very, very, very soon.